Let's take our next question. That is question number 37. The question you see belongs to chapter electric field and charges. As per the question, two point charges A and B having charges plus Q and minus Q respectively are placed at certain distance apart. And the force acting between them is F. If 25% charge of A is transferred to B, then force between the charges becomes. It's a very easy question. Let's start the solution. So, let's take this as A and this as B. Distance between them, let's take it as small r. So, charge on this is Q and this is minus Q. So, F would be simply on magnitude, that is KQ square upon R square. I'm talking just about the magnitude. Now, if I transfer 25% charge of A to B, in that case, the final charge A will be 3Q by 4. And here it will be minus 3q by 4, right? Because I have taken out q by from here and added it here. Now the new force F dash would be by magnitude 9 by 16 k q square upon r square as we have not changed the distance also. So if you compare this F dash and F, you will find that F dash is 9 by 16 times of F. Let's see which is the best suited option among the four. Yes, option number two is the right answer. Now let's move ahead with our next question. That is question number 38. The question you see here belongs to chapter mechanical properties of fluids. As per the question, a small hole of area of cross section 2 mm square is present near the bottom of a fully open tank of height 2 meters. Taking G as 10 meter per second square, the rate of flow of water through the open hole would nearly be. So, let's start with the solution. It's a formula based question where you'll get this as the formula where A is the area of the hole, G is the acceleration due to gravity and H is the height. So, let's put down the values A. So, area of this hole is given to be 2 millimeter square right and height was given to be 2 meters so this is 2 into 10 to power minus x into under root of 2 into 10 into 2 when you solve this you will get 12.6 into 10 to power minus 6 meter cube per second let's see which is the best suited option here so among the four options given yes option number one would be the right answer now let's move on to our next question that is question number 39. The question you see here belongs to chapter semiconductors. Now here the correct boolean operation represented by the circuit diagram is. So in this case the LED bulb will glow when the potential difference is high. So in the case let's say A, B and what is the output. So when you keep this as open this circuit is not connected the potential at here will be 6 volt and here would be 0 volt so in this case the bulb will glow so when a is 0 b is 0 bulb is glowing now the second case let's take this as 1 and this is open so this is closed and this is open so 1 0 again in that case the circuit is not connected so potential difference will remain high and bulb will glow let's take the reverse let's keep this as open and this as closed so let's take a as 0 and b as 1 again in this case the potential difference will remain high because here is 6 volt here is 0 volt in that case also bulb will glow if i close both of them that means 1 and 1 if i connect them both then the potential difference across the led will reduce to 0 so in this case the bulb will not glow and simply this is the operation for NAND gate. So among the four options given to us, which is the best suited option? Option number three is the right answer to this question. I hope you have understood the question very well. Now let's move on to our next question. That is question 40.